So in this video, I'm going to load the 45 kilowatt hour battery pack that I created in preparation for my trip with my Silverado EV and the solar trailer where I'm driving from Pennsylvania to Florida for free. Watch some of my earlier videos if you want to hear about that. But, so this is a dry run. The battery pack's pretty much done. I need to put a latch on it and a couple other things. This is the process I go through to load it. I have a little white dot painted on my garage floor. So with the tailgate down, when I can see it in my camera and it's right under my hitch, I know I'm ready to drop the batteries. Well, lower them slowly. So since the battery box is done, this is sort of my dry run I'm showing you how to load it and all, but it's what I'm going to carry in the back of the Silverado EV on my trip from Pennsylvania to Florida where I'm going to travel for free. So this is just a dry run, but in this dry run, I'm going to charge the Tesla. I'll hook the battery pack up to solar trailer. And then in the back, there's a NEMA 1450. I will charge the Tesla at 25 amps because that's what I could have done with a single EG4 6000 XP. Now that I have two in parallel it should put out 12,000 watts or 50 amps. NEMA 1450 should handle the 15, 50 amps but I think the Tesla cable I have maxes out at 40. But I'll get an idea of how much amperage I'm drawing from the batteries directly. I have it set up as three 48 volt packs. So that is about 600 pounds with the box and all. Each cell is about 12 pounds. And I have three overkill solar BMSs on it. Each one charge and discharge is max 100 amps. So I have 300 amps, but really 250 because the bus bars I'm using are rated at 250 amps. I have to admit, loading 600 pounds of batteries in my new truck is a little nerve wracking. But I wanted to demonstrate, that's my original 6000 XP hooked up to the NEMA 1450 as my Tesla charger. It does 40 amps. There's the new 6000 XP in its own box. So I'm going to charge the Tesla, hopefully at the full 40 amps that that charge cable supports, although the normal although the NEMA 1450 should support 50. So I'm going to show you it charging the Tesla, how many amps it's drawing from one of the packs and then from the two EG4 6000 XP's in parallel. So very quickly I had said in a prior video I was going to show all my solar, three different arrays on my roof, solar trailer one, it's plugged into a solar generator output and actually runs a portion of my house. In the upper right, you will see the new array. The old one got hit by lightning. And right there in the upper left, there's what I refer to as the garage mahal. It's completely off grid being run. So I'm charging at 25 amps, and you can see I'm drawing 2870 watts out of one of the inverters and 3057 out of the other so it's about 58 5900 watts so now i'm bumping up the charger to 40 amps and you'll see that just one of the three battery packs are drawing about 60 amps right there so about 180 if all things are equal then the first inverter is drawing about 4855 the second, second inverter is drawing about 28, 
76, so 48 and 28, 76, maybe 7,700 watts. So I have plenty of room to spare to actually run the full 48 volts worth of charging on my charge point home charger. And I like, since they've upgraded the firmware, that now the amperage is adjustable from within the app. When I first bought them on Amazon Prime Days, that was not a feature. Thanks for staying all the way to the end. I will keep you updated as I prepare for the journey. I hope to have this connected to the solar trailer and actually run the battery cables through the bed of my Silverado EV and into the solar trailer. I have some Anderson connectors that I can use to connect and disconnect because inevitably if I find free charging with the charge port in the rear of the Silverado EV, I will be dropping the trailer quite a bit. It's fairly simple to do. So like, comment, subscribe, follow me if you want to see my journey and uh, what kind of range I get. Towing this, I expect to get about 1.5 to 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Thanks again. Have a good day.